Starting from the bottom, we have the physical layer, which deals with the physical transmission of data. This layer includes the cables, connectors, and other hardware that make up the network. Next, we have the data link layer, which is responsible for the reliable transmission of data between adjacent devices. This layer includes protocols like Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Then there's the network layer, which is responsible for routing data between different networks. This layer includes protocols like IP and ICMP. Above that, we have the transport layer, which provides reliable communication between end-to-end -end applications. This layer includes protocols like TCP and UDP. Next, we have the session layer, which manages the communication sessions between applications. This layer includes protocols like SSL and TLS. Above that, there's the presentation layer, which is responsible for formatting data in a way that can be understood by the application. This layer includes protocols like MIME and SSL. Finally, at the top, we have the application layer, which includes the actual applications that use the network to communicate. This layer includes protocols like HTTP, FTP, and SMTP. Now let's talk about some examples of computer networking in popular movies. In the movie The Social Network, we see Mark Zuckerberg and his team building the first version of Facebook, which relies heavily on computer networking to connect users around the world. In the movie The Matrix, we see the Matrix itself as a massive computer network that connects all of the machines and programs in the virtual world. And in the movie Hackers, we see a group of young hackers using computer networking to infiltrate and take control of various computer systems. In conclusion, computer networking is a critical component of modern computing. Understanding the OSI model and the different layers of networking is essential for anyone working in the field of computer science. And as we've seen in popular movies, computer networking can be both fascinating and powerful, allowing us to connect and communicate with people and machines around the world. Let's dive deeper into computer networking. One important concept to understand is the different types of networks that exist. There are LNs, local area networks, YUANs, wide area networks, MANs, metropolitan area networks, and PANs, personal area networks. A LAN is a network that connects devices within a limited geographical area, such as a home, office, or school. LNs typically use Ethernet or Wi-Fi to connect devices, and they are often used to share resources such as printers or files. A WAN is a network that connects devices over a larger geographical area, such as a city, country, or even the entire world. The most well-known example of a WAN is the Internet, which connects devices around the world using a variety of technologies. A MAN is a network that connects devices within a metropolitan area, such as a city or town. MANs are typically used by organizations that need to connect multiple buildings or campuses together. And a PAN is a network that connects devices within a single person's workspace, such as a home office or a mobile device. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi Direct are common technologies used in PANs. Another important concept in computer networking is the IP address. An IP address is a unique identifier assigned to each device on a network. IP addresses are used to route data between devices on the network and they are essential for communication to occur. IP addresses come in two forms, IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 addresses are the older and more common form, while IPv6 addresses are newer and designed to solve some of the limitations of IPv4. Now let's talk about some more examples of computer networking in movies. In the movie The Italian Job, the thieves use computer networking to hack into the traffic control system and create a massive traffic jam as part of their heist. In the movie War Games, a young hacker accidentally connects to a military computer system and nearly triggers a global nuclear war. This movie is often cited as an example of the potential dangers of computer networking. And in the movie The Net, Sandra Bullock plays a computer programmer who gets sucked into a world of online espionage and cybercrime. So there you have it. A deeper dive into the world of computer networking. I hope you found this lecture informative and entertaining. Remember, understanding computer networking is essential for anyone working in the field of computer science. And it can also be a fascinating and exciting subject in its own right. In simple terms, a database is a collection of data that is organized in a way that allows easy access, retrieval, and modification. Databases are used to store information such as customer records, financial data, and inventory.